Welcome back. Thank you for keeping it here. My name is Mesh Msimbe. And of course, uh, my name is Bushabi Jr. And uh, it's time to get our education story. Cheboge Bow is a high school, an extra county school in Bureti sub county in Kericho, has made tremendous strides in all spheres, making the school one of the great academic giants in the South Rift region. My name is Eugene Rono, admission 4232, the school president. I'm in Form 4 East, Cheboge Boys High School. So, uh, the reason that I was made to come in this school, maybe I can say it's because of God's plans, because I had no intention during the selection of school when I was in class 8. I didn't select this school, but maybe it, it for the God's plans for me to be in this school. But the reason why that I'm so much pleasured and I, I do much enjoy this school is because of the co-curricular activities and also the academic pro plans that this school has. My name is Wayne Wilson Echesa. I joined this school in 2021, admission 47-49. I'm the prefect, assistant clubs and societies. So in joining this school, I didn't particularly choose this school. I'm from Western, so the distance here, it's a big distance. So it was kind of dumb luck for me, basically. They just brought me to this school. We were searching for some schools and we found this one. It had a very great mean, by the way. My parents were surprised and they said I should try this school. And I was very optimistic about it because I never studied in Kericho ever, so I liked to go. And I came here, I came to this school, and it made me discover myself mostly. That's what I'm grateful for because I was never very much good at athletics. But when I came to this school, I discovered many sports. They supported athletic Sport. Through the steering efforts of Chief Principal Mr. Ruben Ngetich, the school has been academically rising to new heights since its inception in 2008. I'm Ruben Ngetich, the Chief Principal of Jeborge Boys High School, and uh, I joined this school in the year 2023, uh, February, transferred from Kisi County a school called Yantrago High School. And the Cheborge Boys High School is located in Kericho County, Pureti Sub County, within a Cheborge location. And uh, it is located or so situated within a compound of uh, 10 acres. It is a pure boys school uh, since the year 2008. And I want to say over the years, the performance has uh, kept on improving. Maybe for the last five years, we have improved from 6.7 in the year 2019. Uh, 2020, we are 7.57. Uh, in the year 2021, it improved to 8.06. And the highest performance was in 2022, when we attained 9.4365, uh, with 100% transition to university. In 2023, we attain a mean of 8.13 with a percentage pass of 90% transitioning to university. The population at that time of candidates increased uh, from 290 to 365 and we were able to send 328 to university. 33 of them qualified for tertiary institutions. Uh, I want to say Jeboria Boys High School was started way back in 1967. It's a mixed uh, school where boys and girls were here up to 2008. That is when it was split. It gave a rise to boys and uh, a girls school, Jeboria Boys High School. And I want to say uh, since 08, the population of the boy child in the school has risen and uh, currently we have the highest population of 1869. That is the highest population so far. In 2023 we had a population of 1450. So this year we had an influx of uh, Form 1. 
Currently, we have a total of 639 from once, and that is the highest so far within the school. We want to say the compound is not big, so we have very few income generating activities. Occasionally, we pack bread for our students, and excess are sold out, and that uh, gives us some income. And uh, we also have uh, dairy cows, which gives us milk. It's uh, supplements what we get from the suppliers. We also intend to start producing our own uh, soap, maybe mainly the liquid soap, to reduce on expenditure. Then uh, come next year, we want to transit from using firewood in the kitchen to using LPG, that is the gas, which is more friendly. It's also in line with the president's uh, advocacy for environmental change. Mr. Ngetich has introduced health academic programs that have propelled the institution in both academic and extracurricular spheres. Our school, Chabaragia Boys, it is called the School of Champions. So we have been doing so well since the year 2021. So 2021 we had a mean of 8.0, 2022 9.4. Then 2023, we dropped to 8.1. So, but we can say it was a good meal. So according to the, the targets that we had. Eh? As for this year's candidates, we are setting a target of 9.5 plus. So we have a good class. But we are almost using the same strategies that we are using, but we have enhanced uh, some of the strategies. Number one, we ensure we maintain discipline throughout the, the period until the ladders they are through with the KCC exam. So that is number one. Number two, we use what we call the Kitab Kwanza program. So in that Kitab Kwanza program, so they are activities we do so like number one there is what we call cyclic supervised reading of notes so we have teachers who are in charge we have timetable for all subjects so they read the subject teacher also has an input so they identify the specific areas the learner they're supposed to read so after that we do what we call the topical revision questions uh, from the topic they read. Then number three, we have another strategy which is called uh, need-based teaching. So those are the topics which the candidates maybe they can request. So they had a challenge uh, when we were doing the teaching process. Uh. Yeah, so that is what we do, but it comes from the student. So their area of request, then we ask the teachers to do that need-based teaching. So when they are doing that need-based teaching, so we use what we call team teaching. So you can take a teacher who is not teaching from four as a subject teacher. So he's a good in a concept. You take him that from four, teach the area. So that is how we do. Then also another program that we have in that Kitabu Kwanza, there is what we call supervised making of the marking scheme. So in our school, that supervised making of the marking scheme, it runs concurrently with the exams. Very early in the morning, we administer a comprehensive exam. So like this week, we are doing, if we are doing paper twos in exams, so paper one, they are doing as making of the marking scheme. Then next week, what they were doing as making of the marking scheme is they will be sitting as an exam. Then we have what we call the, we have the science practicals for the three subjects. They have been, been, tab been tabled. So we do it on weekly basis. Huh? So the sciences, they have been given two hours. Huh? to exhaust the, the science practical. Then we have the enough labs to do the exercise. 
the academic plans has always uh, encouraged us the, as the students to continue working hard, continue going an extra mile in doing our, in dealing with our academic success. Mm. Okay, the next thing is that uh, as this school again is on much forward about the much emphasis about academics. This school we do much value a lot because we, it is like it is our home. Once again, I do want to take my mentor who is always there to assist me. My mentor is Dr. David Tarus. Uh, he's, he's in charge of doctrines in all African institutes in Kenya and also in Africa at large. Uh, he, his hand has greatly impacted my life. Cheboge Boys High School boasts of active clubs and societies ranging from journalism to scouting and music among others. We are joined here with some of the journalism club students at Cheboge Boys Grounds. Just a few kilometers from Litain is situated a good performing school, Cheboge Boys High School. Here are my colleagues. We have Davis, Wayne and uh, we have Aaron and Brahmin. Brahmin is our news anchor, Arun is our uh, sports analyzer, Wayne is our fellow news anchor, and also Davis is. Eugene Wamalwa is saying that school has really been great. It has posted a good mean in the KCSE exams. As I'm here in Cheborge Boys, it's a reflection of all the schools in Kenya. And the weather is very, it's very sunny and the environment is very clean. And so I'd like to thank this opportunity to take all of students to educate you on the student hunch. Get this, causes of stress, there are two. One, procrastination and very, very close attention, deadlines. Do you have deadlines? Deadlines of writing notes, deadlines of completing assignments, deadlines cause stress, procrastination, avoid those. Advice to all students, read your books, avoid peer pressure. I can see that the weather of today is so favorable for so this thing that um, CBS have been holding their AGM last week and uh, it was successful. And uh, Sebrano, for what you said about uh, the mighty Chelsea, we don't know what predict about next season, uh, but if you want to pray so much uh, that Chelsea is going to play their good game, uh, they, they don't have to wait until the last game of the season to kind of show up. Uh, we as the Martin United fans, we are actually challenging uh, every Premier League team that of Manchester United will go up to uh, uh, next season with a league title. Mr. Chepkwoni, the school's deputy principal in charge of administration, admits the good and commendable level of discipline among the boys. Uh, my name is uh, Chepkwon James, the deputy principal in charge of administration, Chepkwoni boys. First, I want to thank God for this opportunity and I would like to talk briefly on the discipline of our students. Our boys are very disciplined and uh, we have achieved this through some of the programs that we have. One here in Jeborgia Boys, we have our academic programs are very tight and uh, boys have no time to waste, that is why they are very disciplined. We also have a very strong student council that has assisted us in maintaining discipline in our school. We also have peer counselors, uh, they play a very important role in ensuring that discipline is maintained in our school. We also have a vibrant guidance and counseling department where boys are, are uh, advised, uh, the, 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 the issues affecting them, uh, personal issues are handled in guidance and counseling. We also involve parents uh, uh, during the academic days, during the HGM, uh, we involve the parents uh, to talk to their boys when they are at home. And I don't regret coming to this school because ever since I came to this school, I have developed in very many sectors. Um, the programs in this school, the speed tests, they, I was very optimistic about the speed tests because they helped me to develop academically, helped me to remember what I didn't know and uh, showed me what I also had not studied for. Uh, the teachers also, 
I would like to appreciate the teachers because um, the teachers are very supportive in various sectors, not just academically, but also morally and uh, for emotional support. There was a time in Form 1 when I had been traumatized. Uh, I felt like leaving the school, but after going to speak to uh, some of the council members, they convinced me that if I could just persevere and look forward, that uh, I may find something better than what I had. And the discipline is credited to the smooth coordination between the chaplain's office and the guidance and counseling departments. The school chaplain, Jeborge Boys High School, the book of Proverbs 17. The fear of God is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom. So the first part of it is spiritual growth. So we really inculcate spiritual growth in the lives of our students. Uh, the second part is social growth. We normally advise our students and also preach to them to be socially active because social growth is paramount to success in every institution. When, when learners are socially fit, they shall be academically fit and they shall be able to work with others. When they go out of this school, they shall be responsible members of the community because of social, and we tell our students uh, to avoid drugs and substance abuse so that they can be physically fit. So physical growth is very important. We tell them to eat very well and to eat food. Uh, uh, reaching balance there. The school has empowered the boys in various fields of sports such as football, volleyball and athletics among other competitive fields. Uh, boys, they, we do well in co-curriculum activities. Uh, for example, last year we had our volleyballers and footballers representing the sub-county at a county level. And this year our volleyballers are also at the sub-county level and we believe they will also go to the county. We are known for football where we have always featured at the county level and, uh, and volleyball. Uh, currently we are doing well in football, we are proceeding to the sub-counties and also in volleyball. And today of course we went for the indoor games which we also hope to excel this year. In the 2024 academic year, Cheborge Boys High School's candidate class is targeting to achieve a mean score of 9.5, a goal promised by the school administration. This follows a number of strategies put in place by the school's academic team. I want to really encourage the candidates of this year. We have prepared them well. Uh, syllabus coverage was done on time. By beginning of of June, we were able to launch Syria's revision program. We do a lot of uh, supervising of reading of notes. Uh, we also do a lot of work in terms of making of marking schemes. We have a mentors. We spend a lot in mentoring them using specialists and uh, we, we have also uh, picked six subjects as uh, project subjects since term one where we have invited specialists who can guide them throughout the year. And we believe out of that, plus the examiners, we are able to improve and even surpass the 9.5. Since he arrived at the institution in 2023 from Kisi County, Mr. Ngetich has enjoyed support from the local community, teaching staff and political leaders, among many. And I want to thank the parents because they are very supportive. Uh, all along, they have uh, played their key role of supporting education in our institution. We have a very strong PA executive led by Mr. David Chepkoy. We want to appreciate him. The board is led by a very able chairman, uh, Dr. Ronald Rock, uh, and his vice chair, uh, Dr. Bates and uh, very strong men and women from the society. So I want to thank everybody and the support from the Ministry of Education, especially at the sub-county level and also at the county level. We have our CDE, who is very supportive, uh, Mr. Julius Ngoneshi, and sub-county director, Madam Beatrice Mochamba.
we thank everybody for that and we want to scale the heights we want to be the best in kenya to be the best can, uh, school within our kenya. for maisha prime education segment ambushebi junior